Hello everyone, how are you? Today we are going to discuss another question for MRCS and solve of the question is one of the best way to pass the MRCS exam by carrying a good marks. So here the question uh, we will solve a question in different aspects for make your MRCS exam easy. Here the question a 73 years old lady with Golestan is about to undergo a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. The surgeon insert a virus needle and perform a successful drug test period to the establishing a pneumopeditorium. A 5 minutes delay ensures before a 10 mm infra umbilical trocar is inserted. The surgeon perform a diagnostic laparoscopy which shows a thickened gallbladder but is otherwise normal. The anesthesiologist complains that the patient has become hypertensive with a blood pressure of 80 over 40 mm mercury. Of the options below, which is the most appropriate course of action? Here a 73 years old lady with gallstone is about to undergo a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. The surgeon insert a virus needle and perform a successful drug test period to the establishing a new mucoritonium. A 5 minute delay ensure before uh, 10 mm intra, uh, infra umbilical trocar is inserted. The surgeon perform a diagnostic laparoscopy and shows thickened gallbladder. And otherwise normal anesthesiologist complains that the patient has become hypotensive. So suddenly the patient uh, blood pressure dropping and blood pressure becomes 80 over 40 mm mercury. So this patient after uh, the pneumoporitinium uh, suddenly pressure be, uh, going down and it's become 80 over 40 millimeter mercury uh, so first of all we have to find out the cause of the uh, hypotension and then we have to find a proper solution uh, for management of the patient so here are the, the options what are the best course of action here uh, first of all release of uh, new baby retinium or perform a laparotomy administration of intravenous adrenaline administration of, administration of intravenous amiodarone and end of the operation here are the different op options but we have to find out on who is uh, uh, will uh, resolve the uh, complication the hypertension and it uh, causes the blood pressure again in the back so here we can see a surgeon uh, doing a laparoscopy here we can see here is the laparoscope and here is the abdomen just uh, first of all it is uh, filled by gas and if we uh, see the patient if gas filled then abdomen will be large or abdomen become enlarged it space become enlarged so in this case if in this abdomen here the gas increases it uh, gives pressure in the all direction in the all 360 degree direction so when it gives pressure to the upward we know there is the diaphragm between the thorax and abdomen the diaphragm push upward and the uh, chest space become narrower so there uh, the respiration will not be possible so here uh, we can see a higher intra-abdominal pressure may compromise the venous return and reduce cardiac output. So this po two point is very important. It uh, reduces venous return and reduce cardiac output. So uh, as the uh, cardiac output reduces, then blood pressure drops. So what we have to do? We have to increase the venous return and we have to increase the cardiac output. For venous return, we need more space in the thorax. So, uh, we have to release the air of the abdomen. So, when um, the abdomen relax, the thorax will occupy its lost space and again it will replenish the venous return and cardiac output. So, in this case, vagal uh, dose of atropine may be acquired some uh, condition, uh, but uh, typically, first of all, release of the air in this case. So, here release of the pneumoperitoneum in this case the release of the pneumoperitoneum will reduce the gas or reduce the pressure within the abdomen and also reduce the pressure in the thorax so lungs will be expanded more and 
the heart will get more vein uh, more venous region through the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava and as the diastolic volume will increase and will increase the cardiac output and blood pressure will be increased then thanks all